Good evening traders, MO Strategy providing you a quick read on early weeks sessions and some really interesting stuff had occurred on uh, these last few days that I hope in terms of what I provide uh, in regards to how you can approach trade in these futures markets and how to best prepare and understand what is the underlining uh, momentum or support telling you and you can see it had occurred on Tuesday you see the ES wanted nothing to do with anything under 4370 and for good reason we got this MA right here but more importantly as we were trying to find ourselves on Tuesday the Nasdaq was struggling and they were beating around a bush a little bit down here and just classic how they they, they were it was kind of telling you something because the es and the dow on, on tuesday were holding up fairly well almost as if they were waiting and it was just a matter of time until the nasdaq find its footing and they did and it all came off off that ma and it turned out to be a really powerful trade for the uh es and for the nasdaq as well if you took it but more importantly it was it was the read that it provided and that's what you got to pay attention to because we have been really following the uh es and or the nasdaq and right down in here was pretty much the moment of truth it was right in here and these two bottoms they came down they tapped that ma they uh, they hovered tapped it one more time and off they went and this was pretty much what sent everybody right rising to the top and in fact it also it took the s that it was a great trade for me yes at 82 that was actually the pivot or r1 for that session might have been the pivot and i think r1 was all the way up here around right here actually at 97 and that was the trend line so if the market was going to hit a hit hit a wall and continue the downside it would have Instead, it broke out from here, and it was just a breakout session to the upside, and they rammed them all the way up to 25. And today, the ES protected 1400, 4400. So, you know, that was a positive sign for the market. And in fact, that old resistance became your support. And this was kind of the support for the earlier sessions uh, a few weeks ago. You know, it was the same same ballpark. Talked about it and passed. As we rolled down, I said, pay attention to that area. We did take it out. They made new lows, but they wanted nothing to do with anything underneath 4370. So I think these are the areas you want to pay attention to moving forward. It'll be 15,000 in the uh, in the NASDAQ and 4,400. We have to hold it. I think any leakage under that, and it's possible we could maybe start making another run back to the downside. But until then, the markets pretty much took a stand. It held, got above 4,400, and it held 4,400, and that's going to be what you want to pay attention to. So, like I said, it's really good to pay attention to what's going on in all these markets, whether you're trading NASDAQ and you're using the ES for confirmation, or you're trading the ES and you're using the NASDAQ for confirmation. And it's quite telling when you pay attention, and it's always, always great when you get confirmation on a position and it's being confirmed in an NASDAQ as well or the Dow. So this is a great way to pay attention and use, utilize these levels as your assets for the highest probability trades. So I hope this is, uh, this greets you well. I hope this is informative and helpful to your trading. Always pay attention to it. These markets really do trade well around the pivots. That's why I emphasize it. And if you're disciplined enough and patient, you're going to see the results when you take advantage of trades from these areas. You know, if your game is working inside and out from all the other areas that it works, then more power to you. I'm just saying that the high probabilities are the ones that you can maybe leverage and play runners come from some of these key locations. So keep it in mind when you're trading moving forward. Have a great night, guys. Have a great rest of the week. Take care.